Finland launches its first satellite into space. Skype founder invests into showers. Finnish VR startup demonstrated at the Facebook conference. This and much more in this week's episode of 3 Minute Friday with me, Dmitry Sarle. Amazing news for Finland, ladies and gentlemen, because they launched the first satellite into space called the Alto 2. This is really good news for Finland because it will encourage more people to be interested in space and more space entrepreneurs to start companies in that industry. We really hope that this will start a completely new revolution in space. Awesome. Moving to Malmo, we have another company that is related to space. They used to make showers for NASA, but they realized that they can apply the same technology here on the ground. And to do that, they raised 17.8 million euros from the likes of Nicholas Zentrum, who was the founder of Skype, and the CEO of H&M. What they do is they create showers, which is kind of like Tesla of showers. Basically, they save 90% of all the water used by implementing very cool tech. And that is good because not only are you going to save money, but you're going to protect the environment. Yes! Malmo is hot this week because we have more news from that beautiful city. Flatter got bought up and that is a company that does microtransactions for blogs and content providers. Basically you can support any blog you like with just a one click and send money to them. They were bought up by a company called IO which aims to transform Flatter into a slightly different platform that will make it possible to support any blog, any content provider. We hope they succeed because it will help companies that have small media businesses or blogs. Now we're going to Finland where Visor, a VR company, demonstrated their demo at the F8 conference for Facebook and that was a huge success. Together with that, they also raised 2.3 million euros and basically what they do is they allow anybody to create VR and 360 content very easily without any programming skills. It works with drag and drop mechanism and also a web interface. Very simple, very good, great stuff. And their co-founder Anna Rosa Lappalainen will be at RD15 speaking on X Reality Day on the 5th of May. Do come and check it out. Co-founder, come on. Got it, got it, I got it. I'm having fun, okay? Also in Finland, Mobidaya grazed 3.99 million euros and they're changing the diagnostic industry by making it easier and faster to diagnose infections on the spot. They're currently in the certification process for their hardware and hopefully we'll see it in hospitals soon. A company out of Sweden raised $16.8 million. Together they have $75 million in funding and the company does something amazing. They're letting people who can't really afford insurance get insurance. People who live on less than $10 a day are able to get insured and get benefits from this company. They're trying to help people in emerging markets by getting them insured and helping them in difficult situations. We'd also like to point your attention to a few events in the Nordics and Baltics next week. For example, there's going to be the Upgraded Life Festival happening in Helsinki and that is a really cool event if you're interested in the digital transformation of the health industry. Another cool event is happening in Latvia next week, which is the Ria Tumo Fintech Challenge, which will address everything you need to know about fintech. Check it out! And coming back to Helsinki, you should check out Pink Festival, which will be concentrating on video marketing and video production. Really amazing event with some of the top YouTubers from the world coming to it. Last but not least, you have an opportunity to select a favorite starter from the Nordics and Baltics as a part of the Microsoft Pitching Competition at Arctic 15. The winner will get 50,000 euros as an investment and you can help us select top 15 companies of the, the top 30 that are there right now. All you have to do is visit this link and select your favorite. Thank you very much. Hope you liked this episode. Thank you, Evely, for your continued support. See you next week and ta-ta.